All right, guys, welcome to another troubleshooting video right now. This is what's happening right now, okay? So I am on my main machine. I'm trying to move the mouse, and you can see it's not coming back to this laptop. Now, if you remember a few days ago, I also showed you how do I move my mouse between two different computers. So that's a different computer. This is a different computer that has dual monitors. So I'm going between all of these machines right here, right? So I restarted the machine the first thing I did because it was just flickering and I don't know what happened. I thought maybe somebody hacked me, which is good. I mean, there's nothing in my account anyway. So here you go. Like I do this, right? I, I can't move. I can't come back to it like this way, right? So it's going that way and then coming back over here. So the first thing I want to know is, what's, first of all, what is going on with this monitor? So I thought maybe its monitor is turned off, but clearly you, you can see the, the pointer right there. So one thing, the first thing I would do in this case is to unplug the HDMI or if you have a VGA or you know DVI cable unplug it and plug it back so let's see if that fixes the issue so I unplugged it you can see my computer just came back again with one monitor one one screen and I'm gonna plug it back again so now you see I plugged it back and let's see if it fixes the issue nope it didn't fix the issue. So even if it came back, it didn't mean it, it's going to fix the issue. So the second thing is that I know a lot of people are like, why didn't you go to the, you know, the, the screen and fix it right away from there? Because that may also not be a fix. So let's go ahead and try that. So I have my other video. So here you go. You go to display settings and you see identify. So you see, this is my one and I know that's my two, but it's actually not showing on that one. So definitely my pattern is correct. My pattern has no issues. So if I come over here, you can see it's still going a, a very wrong direction. So somehow, somehow this monitor is acting like a first monitor and this one is the first one actually. But there's an issue going on. It's still not working. So the second thing I would do is that is my program that I installed through the network is that having a problem so I'm gonna cancel it so now you see it's still not working so now I'm stuck in one one machine right now so if I do this you see it's one it's still not showing my second so somehow my my, my cursor is not moving away so I know that there's some other issue going on so now I'm gonna basically unplug the monitor again so there you go. I'm going to wait for it. You see it went away. And I'm going to plug it back in. I'm going to wait for like a few more seconds. And now I'm going to plug it. There you go. Okay. So I plugged it. It came back. And identify no, nothing. I'm going to move it this way and apply. There you go. So still not working, right? Nothing is coming up. I'm going to move it that way. Still not working. All of my solution failed. So the last one, what I want to do is I'm going to unplug this whole monitor and plug it back again. So you can clearly see that I did the HDMI, but I'm going to unplug this. Wait for a few seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Plug it back. Okay. So VGA came up. That's not what I was looking for, right? So VGA is not working. Let's go back and... Now we already powered off and on we know that that's not an issue so another problem that you should be looking at then if you have two connection going on with VGA and HDMI and nothing is coming in HDMI and somehow it's just not detecting it then you should remove one by one so this way this is a kind of like elimination process of each thing you're check marking now I know a lot of people may even look at it and just like you know realize that oh you know I knew this issue but for someone who's new this is the practice that you should do with everything that you uh, you know work with computers right now so make sure that all these cables are plugged in correctly now if I come over here I see that there's no signal there's no signal but it's probably detecting the HDMI right now you can see that so clearly when you take the uh, the VGA you see that nothing is working right now but as soon as I spend for like a few more seconds the, v, uh, the HDMI came up so you know that the VGA had an issue and that was taking over my monitor every time it would go to the v, uh, you know the VGA first and even if I did HDMI that still didn't work so that would have been an easy fix because I know okay let me just change it to HDMI because that was never getting picked up so sometimes you just have to go and cable by cable step by step just check mark everything 
and then fix the problem. Most of the time it's reboots with the monitors. Most of the time these are cables. Sometimes you just have to unplug them, plug them back. Sometimes if it's like a VGA type of thing, it's pins in there. Maybe even look at the, the HDMI, you know, the, the cable itself. Sometimes that's broken. So there could be many, many things. Oh, that's too, that's broken. That's not a design, by the way. Somebody asked me, is this a, some cool kind of design? No, that's broken. <laughs> so this is how you fix an issue. Step by step, normal process. Most of these things are just you need to check mark, check mark, check mark, check mark, and nothing special about these things. Thank you so much.